Hey there, everybody. This is the Noodler's Ahab fountain pen. It's a flex fountain pen. I'm going to review that today, so let's get to it. I got this pen a couple years ago at a brick and mortar store called Paper and Ink Arts, and it's in Nashville, Tennessee. I had a Noodler's Creeper pen before, which is also a flex pen, and I had moderate luck with it, so I wanted to try this. Online, the Noodler's Ahab here, it sells for about 25 US dollars. The Ahab has a larger nib than the Creeper, and a big game changer, a nice and large ink capacity. It has this screw-in push-pull piston converter that's made just for it, and so it won't take anything else such as a standard international converter or, any, or anything, it just takes this. You can eyedropper it, where you unscrew, or you can unscrew this converter and fill up the entire pen body and put some grease on the threads or some piping tape on the threads to seal them up. I've only made a mess when trying to do this to eyedropper pens in the past, so uh, I didn't do it with this. This holds plenty of ink and that works for me. The pen has a screw cap and underneath is this large, it's a number six I believe, flex nib made by Noodlers. Uh, it's resting atop an eb ebonite feed. Ebonite feeds are very absorbent and cleaning them is a real pain, so I recommend sticking with a single color for your pen. I simply have black. This black ink is Noodlers X Feather. It works well in this pen, but I've found it to be quite dry for fountain pe for uh, fountain pen ink. It gets almost gritty like an old printer toner, but that apparently helps reduce the ink's bleeding or feathering, hence the name X Feather. Most flex pens have at least some issue with railroading, where the ink can't handle the spreading of the tines and the feed can't keep up. The Ahab is no exception, however, Noodlers recommends playing around with it. In their instructions, you are encouraged to remove the nib and feed out of the pen and then realign them through trial and error. It's even said to put a piece of tape on the, on the feed slit here to help. I like that Noodlers embraces their inexpensive tinker with it status instead of pretending that it's going to write perfectly out of the box. After my own trial and error, I aligned the my nib and feed to sit just like this, and now it writes with good flex and keeps up very well. You can write very quickly, but the pen does railroad when it flexes at quick speed. So if you want copper plate or any flourishing or varying or uh, anything with varying line weights, basically, if you want it to flex, easy does it. And so that way the ink will keep up. It does it a lot better than some other flex pens that I've tried or seen. Right now I'm trying to get better at copper plate, so that's why I picked up this pen to use again. Um, I'm also getting into dip pens, and dip pens have the benefit of a very wide flex and really thin hairlines. The Ahab can't produce super thin hairlines, so it can't mimic the dip pen, it can't replace it, but it still produces a great flex style um, in its own right, and this is one of my go-to pens that I can use for demonstrating my calligraphy. And of course, it's a fountain pen, not a dip pen, so there's no no need to carry like a inkwell around with me. I can just put it in my pocket and take it with me. And the large the large ink capacity it helps considerably for this purpose. It can write for a long time before running out, even if you flex a lot. The drawbacks are this pen is finicky when you first get it. If you're willing to play around with it for a while until the nib and feed are seated properly, you'll be rewarded with a super affordable flex pen. I wish this pen came in a metal version, like a metal version or some, something nicer because this it looks kind of cheap and at least on this one, the marbling or whatever, it looks like it. what happens when you just bend colored plastic back and forth and it's about to break. Um, the Ahab does come in, it does come in solid colors, which might look better, but all in all, for 25 American dollars, the Ahab is excellent, and it's, it's a wonderful flex pen. Uh, I'd love to get Mont Blanc's new 149 calligraphy model. That has an awesome flex and had a great review I've seen. But until that day, here's to the very affordable, very useful Noodler's Ahab.